Okay, so we are at Two Extreme. I'm finally getting it done, people. I'm finally getting it done. I've been saying I was gonna do this for years, and there have been too much of a damn pansy to do it. But I'm finally getting it done. I have no excuse. My mom has like a billion of them everywhere. Okay, five. She says five. I say a billion. Um, so I'm excited. I'm finally getting inked. Okay. I'm very excited. Uh, so that's what we're doing. Wish me luck. Hope I don't cry. Uh, first of all, I know it's a little dark. Um, Brian's watching Rick and Morty, so I didn't want to have like all the lights on and like ruin the glare of his show and have him mad at me. So apparently, Rick and Morty is like a religion. It's a religion. Yeah, he says it's a religion. Um, so, as you know, I got my tattoo done today, so I'm excited. Um, see, here it is. Well, here, wait, no, wait no, there we go. There you go. There it is. Um, it does, I mean, it did hurt a little bit. I'm not going to lie and say it didn't. But it didn't hurt nearly as much as, like, I was led to believe it would. Like, my mom went with me and she kept trying to psych me out. Like, oh, it hurts. It's a different kind of pain. It's, it's going to hurt. It's a different kind of pain. But it won't hurt that. And I'm like, really? You're contradicting yourself. You be quiet and just film. <laughs> you over there. I'm over here. You hush. Um... But yeah, I mean, it, it, it stung, but it kind of felt like, I don't know, it just kind of felt like I was just getting stung by like a bee or something like over and over again. So it wasn't like a super, super bad pain, but it, it, it was very uncomfortable. Um, but because of how small it is, you know, it didn't, it didn't take them very long to do it. I was in and out of the chair in like 15 minutes. And... I don't know how well you guys can see it. Let me turn this. But it's actually really well done. Um, now, I know a lot of people already are asking me, like, what is it and why I chose this one. Um, for those people that don't know, um, I do actually have two children. Um, I have a six-year-old little girl and a three-year-old little boy. Um... And both of them are Leos. My daughter was born in August, the beginning of August. My son was born at the end of July. So that is why there's a Leo. I am an Aquarius. So that's what that is. Now, the reason I chose this one is because um, I know that you guys are going to be like, hey, if you've got kids, you know, why haven't you seen them? Hey, can we see them? Can we see pictures? Well, here's the thing. Um... Their father at the time, who no, it is not the same guy I'm with now, it's not the man I married, um, their father at the time did something extremely horrible. And because of that, I ended up losing custody of first my daughter, and then I had my son three years later, and I lost custody of him as well. Um, I did do everything that I could to get them back like I I followed every procedure I did every single thing that they told me to do but it was just never enough um I was eventually put into a position where either I signed my rights over as their mother and I signed them over and allowed them to legally be adopted by their fraternal aunt or my rights were going to be stripped away and they were going to be separated and adopted out to just complete strangers. So seeing as this was the last thing I got to do as their mother, I decided it was in their best interest to keep them together and keep them with family. So for the last three years, I, they have been with their aunt on their father's side. Um, 
Now, I know you guys, like this is the first time you guys have heard me talk about my kids or anything. Well, that's because because of the arrangement that was made, um, their aunt made the decision that she really doesn't want me seeing them or really talking to them. So I actually have not seen my kids in like three years. Um, so that's that's really what this is, is it's kind of, it's my way of healing from it. Um, it's kind of like, it's my way of saying that my kids are always going to be part of my heart. They're always going to be in my heart, no matter what happens. I don't care what a piece of paper says that was signed by a judge. I really don't. Those are my kids, and they will forever be my children. You know, I know that they were adopted by their aunt, and I know all of that, but they are still my kids, and they were always going to be in my heart. And that is why I chose this particular design. Um, but, yeah. But anyway, yeah, it turned out, it turned out really, really nice. It does hurt. It does burn a little. Um, my dad explained it best. He says that it, uh, it kind of feels like a cross between, like, a bruise and a sunburn. Um, so it is very, it is uncomfortable. Um, um, so yeah, this... This was going to be, you know, I knew from the beginning that this was going to be a super, 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 super short vlog. Um, I really didn't have much to say, you know. Um, yeah, it. that's pretty much all I did today was I got that done. So, yeah. Any of you who are actually, who were wondering, she is home. For those of you who follow my Twitter and my Instagram, she is home finally. Um, she came home last week. Um, and I want to say thank you to everybody that did, you know, donate towards her vet bill. I want to say thank you very much. It's very appreciated. It, it was starting to scare me. <laughs> but she's okay, and I'm okay, and we're all okay, and we're all happy. So, ah, I did jazz. Number one rule, don't scratch it. It's just so bad. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys go. Um, if you like the content that we create, you know, please consider liking and sharing and subscribing and all that happy fun stuff. Um, and just, you know, stay happy and stay positive. And to all of my friends and family and, you know, all of my, you know, my family out there that lives in Florida, please stay safe. I understand that this hurricane is huge. I'm in Florida. I'm actually in central Florida. Please make sure that if you are in an evacuation zone that you do evacuate. Don't, don't think that, you know, you know better. Um, especially if you're in like a flood zone or something like that, just, you know, try to make sure that, you know, you, you've got all your medications and like you've got your batteries and you've got everything that you're going to need and make sure that you buckle down somewhere that you can actually stay safe. So until next time, I love you and stay clean and stay dry and bye.